Right, well, uh, Daryl, have you uh, you enjoyed a, a little bit of time off? I don't get the sense that you ever really enjoy the off season no. that much. No, a nice family holiday in a way with a wife, so mm. a, a bit of a break. But I had uh, my pro license to complete as well, so. Uh, Busy, busy summer, and then obviously working hard on uh, recruitment through the summer. Well, you beat me too. I was going to say congratulations on that. I mean, it's a lot of work that goes into that pro license. It certainly is. It's not give me. I think there's only 300, only only 300 in England. So it's you know it's been hard work. Uh, certainly, I think the FA they get a lot of stick, but I think they deserve massive credit of how the the coaching courses are going, and, and uh, certainly the pro license was a great experience, mixed in with some some good people, and uh, it's always it always helps on networking mm. as well to to get a few more names yeah. put into the phone book so no it was, it was a test in 18 months but I thoroughly enjoyed finishing it off that's for sure and, and do you feel you've sort of benefited from it coaching wise it's taught you stuff that you perhaps not you necessarily didn't know but it, it gets you looking at things yeah, in a different you, way yeah you learn a bit on the courses you know you get uh, different leaders from different environments like we had the uh, the head of the fire brigade in London mm. you know he was talking a lot of things about key decisions by leaders making key decisions at times which you can link into to mm. football management and obviously Big names in the footballing world coming in to, to, to do talks, and you know we went out to uh, Poland for the 21s last year as well. So it's been a busy 18 month, but certainly I, I, enjoy, I enjoyed it. And you know, you, and not only that, you, you're obviously networking with the, the, the people that are on the course as well. On all of which is to come back here and uh, and, and lead your uh, your team. How is it getting the other the players back out for preseason? Yeah, no, it's good. We 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 was back into before we've been back in a few days. Where the lads have been doing the fitness testing and. and Making sure that's all 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 in order. We've done the my sports uh, sports therapist mm. and uh, a strength and conditioning coach, should I say, and, and, and Keith Keith Graham, the head of head of physio. So mm. we've been they've been doing a lot of work, a lot of testing, but they've they've come back in reasonably good shape, which I expected them to. They they were they was monitored through the course of the summer, and gone are the days where you you get <laughs> the black bags and they've got to run them for three weeks. That was my old pre seasons. Yeah. Uh, you know, we we put it pretty quickly out to get the, the footballs out. But when you look at it, actually, there would be some clubs at this stage of the season looking to fill numerous different holes. You, you've got quite a lot of competition. Yeah, I've a got a good areas. core. I've got, yeah, you know, I, li I like to have a good balance from my squad. The hungry ones, something to prove, my experienced ones, uh, but also the know how of the club. Yeah. You know, I think it's important that I've got a, uh, a, a changing room there that uh, understands what this club's all about, that kind of give everything for this year, and that, that's important to rub off onto the new signings and what demands we put on, on players here. So, so there's a good balance about the squad. Obviously, always want more because <laughs> that's that's the way football is, and we just keep trying to improve it uh, uh, along as we go.